This is the vegan anarchist. And in this video, oh, uh, this video is not endorsement of Trump. I hate Trump and Hillary, and, and I made a video about about that. Uh, so you should watch it. But basically, it's about what Trump would what Trump got right. And this thing he got right is the reason I picked this one is because it's a cornerstone of his campaign. And that it is the fact it is he complains about how the government is corrupt and the system is rigged. And that is true. And yeah, like he's right about that part. Now, and I think I'm not endorsing here. Just hear me out, okay? But, and people know it's rigged, they see what happened to Bernie, even Bernie says it's rigged, and I warned you about Bernie, but it's a different topic. Uh, yeah, and that's his whole campaign, that and also a little bit of xenophobia sprinkled here and there, maybe it's a really hard, tempting sandwich to shoot for many people, and um, reason well, we kind of understand, like, since the past 20 years, wages have either been stagnant or actually kind of below in terms of inflation. And what's happening is that the middle, the middle-aged white people are killing themselves in record number. Just killing themselves. Killing themselves in record number. And that's a, obviously a, and you see, the suffering and going to drug epidemics, the, the 2008 crash left people with barely anything. Like, I, before the 2008 crash, I used to be upper middle class because of my parents, but now my mom bought foods, my mom's on, uh, well, I'm not going to say this is closed, and my dad's barely scraping by, like, we have came from relatively wealthy to new, Doing really crummy, but we managed to scrape by. But a lot of people are, in, a lot of um, white people are in hell. Low. And then you also see the fact that, oh, look to hear the oh, they're trying to get black people rising this, and they think that th that the Mexicans, it's easy for them to think that Mexicans are taking their jobs away. For, uh, Blacks have committed all the crimes. It's really easy when they see get all those privileges and the white people, middle, ex middle class, middle class are just are just being devastated. And it's really tempting. All you have to do is just add a little bit of oh oh no, it's the Mexicans' fault. But you know. The thing about it is that, well, let me give you an example. There's like farms and they rely on Mexican migrant workers or Mexican immigrants to pick over to El Salvador. Let's say there's one in Minnesota. It could be anywhere. Just pick any place. A lot of places where they do agriculture would recruit people to come to this country to pick. And then, and then right after they recruit them, then they talk crap about them. And they go, they basically, they're two faced. They want them so they can pick the cottons, uh, being the whatever they're picking, it, so the economy doesn't collapse or whatever, and they can make money. But on the other hand, they don't want to pay them that much, and the people around, and you know, the rest of the audience, the, the rest of the area doesn't like it. So they're just, they're just two faced. And the same thing with Donald Trump. I mean, it's not a black man who's committing the crimes you should be worried about. It is not the Mexicans who, and not just the Mexicans, but hell, it's not just the Mexicans, nor the Filipino or the El Salvadors or whatever who are taking your jobs. It is not, it is not their fault. It is not. It is not the terrorism in the world is not the fault. Most of the time, it's not done by actual Muslims. It's actually done by right wing extremists. But but then again, it gets weird. But rather than that, 
most of our that all has been done by a rich by a class of the bourgeoisie, the rich, and the crony politicians. Who Donald Trump is a member of the aristocratic class, or the financial aristocrats, the bourgeoisie, whatever you. Cause he's, cause he's, cause he's saying the system is rigged, but he took part in the rigging, and actually not just took part, but he actually benefited from rigging. And the thing is, America was rigged since the first day of our country. It was, it was, an American Revolution was not, it was just a conservative revolution because the milk, the, the merchants and the bankers and the manufacturers want to compete against the British and they want independence so they fought a war and that's how you got America. And that's the same thing with the Constitution. The reason why they had it passed is, is because it's, it was counterproductive for American capitalists to pass trade laws when the state passes trade laws with each other. Or when it was developing in the capitalist class, it hasn't really, it's just the embryo. I mean, um, yes, the system is rigged. Yes, Bernie Sanders points the billionaire class, but he sells out to them. He sees a sellout. We all know he's a sellout, although some people deny because he promised. Although the moment he joined the Democrat Party is when he sold out. He just promised to faithfully sell out. That's all he did. But going on Trump. The white, uh, the white, not just white, but a lot of like people of all colors are desperate. And the media keeps telling them that the economy is, uh, is no longer in recession. But they don't feel it. And, they, and it hasn't. All the, all the growth, or most of it went to like the bourgeoisie, the top 1.5, 0.1%. You know those people. The whole you know, the wealth. They didn't even shift their jobs to Mexico. And then after they shift their jobs or to China, they didn't blame them for what the bourgeoisie did to make money. Mexico, and even in Mexico, wages have gone down because of NAFTA. And Trump has been very good at tapping into like Clinton's hypocrisy, Clinton, TPP, NAFTA, all that stuff. And he pointed out that that it's decimating the working class of America, and also of other countries like Mexico is doing really crap because of it, because you know corn subsidies. And Hillary just, if it weren't for the fact that Trump had this scandal like pussy gay, she, she would have been no, that's what camping her flows is the stuff, the whole pussy gay thing. But the election you see is just a big it is just a big circus. It's just a reality show. And it's interesting because Trump really was a reality host. And, and it just, they're just competing. What Trump and Hillary are doing is they're just competing over who can dupe the American people the most. That's what they're competing for. And Hillary's just as two-faced. They went to Trump's wing. They're more friends and enemies. They, serve, they both say they serve the same class. They just maybe at best they're in factions of the same class. But ultimately though, the reason why people laughed, though they laugh and turned to Trump is because the, the left, it, you see, has been is so weak. And then you have those regressive leftists who are the loudest voices, who are themselves hip hypocrites. And then, and then you have the right who's trying to take advantage of it. I mean, America, they had. McCarthyism and the Red Scare, which is still affecting today, although not as much because of self proclaimed socialist, in quotes. Bernie Sanders managed to get there, but only lost because it was rigged, you know. But, he, you know, he, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty sure that, yeah, he would have done anything. He was sold out. Even if he PM president, Bernie Sanders was sold out. But, anyways, the, the right. But the solution Trump gives you, 
And most of the time, like it's trickle down economics, all it does is have trickle down Reaganomics, which is protectionism. And the thing is, is that trickle down Reaganomics actually hurts people, but you know, yeah, it actually hurts not people, but most of the people are an expensive ruling class. It wasn't gun regulations, the EPA, which would destroy the environment way more than it already has. I mean, the solution is Trump. He either doesn't have a really good solution, or when he says it's crap, like bad Muslims. Although a lot of people who are actual terrorism, who statistically commit more of that action, I don't like the word terrorism, let's say it, uh, tend to be people who are most likely to support Trump. But just ignore that part. Yeah, it's, it's he letting people. Infrastructure is crumbling, of course, because they're spending money on wars, but Trump, you see, he's, he's trolling, or he's more likely he understands the base, he understands the white, class, white middle working class. And all you have to do is pet a bigger tree because that just, just, that just takes the blame from him and, his, and whatever his bourgeois buddies have. Like Sheldon Nelson, the rest of Muslims were Hillary, but Sheldon Nelson was Trump. Although he's like, see, not corrupt or anything. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, so basically, if you're a Trump supporter, yes, the system is rigged, but Trump is not the answer. And he's not the answer. Do you want the answer? I'll give you the answer. The answer is anarchism. The answer is, is libertarian socialism, seizing the means of production, direct action, revolution, insurrection. The solution is all starts with me, you, and everybody, or, and people organizing, and people educating, agitating. It comes from the streets, from the depths of cybernets, of the internet. It comes from all sorts, it doesn't come from the top, it comes from the bottom. And that's what you have to remember. The ballot box is not going to fix it. If anything, Trump will probably going to collapse America like Hillary would, but Trump would just do it faster. The bull of America is doing either way, and those corporations can make a lot of money. But And a lot of them getting nervous because people are knowing it is rigged and they kind of need to blame immigrants because it kind of saves their ass. It's the same trick that Hitler used. Not just Hitler, but like nationalists, fascists, patriots, like those kind of people. So, um, if you're a Trump supporter, don't vote Trump. Boycott the election and become an anarchist. And, and I... And right now, Operation Anarchist, I'm not sure, is on, not online, but you can check out the YouTube channel once it's it back on, and please check it out. Go read anarchist literature. And by the way, anarcho capitalists aren't anarchists, neither are national anarchists. They're not. So, but anyways, this is a vegan anarchist. No meat, no milk, no masses. Fuck this system. Yeah! Yeah!